Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint calendar. It's relatively simple, so stick close and let's jump straight into it. From our home page, let's navigate to the top right hand side, look for the gear icon. Here we're going to look for site contents. Now from this site contents page, you will see there is a new button over here. Once you click on this, you're going to navigate to app. Now you're going to add a calendar app. So what we're going to look for here is the SharePoint store right at the top. And if you go onto the left hand side, you will see a bunch of categories and you can look for clocks and calendars. Alternatively, you can type in calendars over here just by the search bar. But what we're going to look for is a calendar that we can implement and install onto our SharePoint site. So there are a few options here. You can see that there are quite a few. If you are looking for a calendar to integrate with Google, so let's say we want to integrate our Google Calendar, this is the app to use. And then there is also another handy one, and that is your Outlook calendar. So there are many to choose from, but the two very specific ones I'm looking for is the Google Calendar and the Outlook integration. So you can use either one of these and it's relatively simple. You're going to click on the app just like this and you're going to click on Add to Apps site. So let's click on this on the right hand side. You can also see all of the information about the app itself. Now this will take a few minutes to install. From here you are going to run through this. It says we are um, getting our app data from SharePoint. That's fine. The app availability. So we're going to make sure that um, only enable this app or enable this app and add it to all sites. Depends on how many sites you have. So if you want it just on one site you can just click on that option. Let us click on add. And here again, you will need permission from your administrator. Now, if you are the administrator, you can grant permission. So let us go back to SharePoint. So let's just click over here. We go back to our SharePoint and now we're going to go back into our how to harbor site and we're going to navigate to our site contents and we're going to go back into apps. So here we are back in my apps and we're going to just click on add again to this Outlook integration. This has now been added and you can access this in your site content. So if you navigate again to site contents, you will find your calendar that you have added in right over here.